this began a number of years back when a member of our faculty, Sven Beckert, uh, who's a historian, started teaching a, a first year seminar for uh, freshmen, first year students, trying to understand what Harvard's ties were uh, to slavery. And then my predecessor, Drew Faust, uh, commissioned um, a first small faculty committee to look into some of these issues and recognized that um, a number of Harvard presidents, for example, um, had um, owned enslaved people that they had worked on our campus and commemorated the memory of those um, by joining with John Lewis, the great civil rights leader, to put a plaque on the second oldest building at Harvard, Wadsworth House, um, which was the old president's residence um, mm -hmm. at Harvard. And Benjamin Wadsworth was a president who, in fact, um, had enslaved people working in that house. Um, that committee raised a lot of questions, which it didn't have time to answer. So when I became president, it, it was clear that it was that we needed to complete this work. And also, in, in fairness, it was clear that other institutions were well ahead of us in doing this work. We were in, candidly late to the party. So I formed a committee and uh, asked them to really try and uh, document and understand and do scholarship research on Harvard and its legacy of slavery. And that committee produced a report which we just um, released um, on, uh, on Tuesday uh, of last week. Um, and uh, it's an extraordinary piece of scholarship, but the report that I commissioned was really targeted on, uh, focused and charged was to look at our uh, entanglements with slavery. And the report that came back documented all these. And then the question was, what's our responsibility? And what I said, as you quoted, um, is that we, we benefited uh, from these policies. Um, in some cases, we, uh, some of our faculty actually uh, provided scholarship, later proved to be um, faulty, uh, erroneous. Um, and I think about scholarship, it tends to be error correcting. Uh, but which provided an intellectual justification in some cases um, uh, for what now is viewed as white supremacy. And so um, I, I said, I thought we bore a moral obligation uh, to do what we can to correct the persistent inequities that continue to exist in right. almost any metric of equality that one would, would look at. 